How does it feel to be graduating? It feels... It feels pretty, pretty surreal, to say the least. I'm so excited to finally be graduating, but it's also kind of bittersweet because the journey, uh, I went through a lot of ups and downs and um, yeah, there's a bit of sadness to it that, you know, um, we're gonna be ending our course now and uh, having to say goodbye to all the people that we worked with. I knew it was coming, but you never expected to actually finally arrive and hit that point and be across the threshold. It's like running a race that you never knew how long it was and being completely floored that you actually encountered the finish line. It's great, but it's strange. I can't believe that the four years have gone so quick. Um, it's probably some of the best times I've ever had. Yeah, I'm just, I, to be honest, I'm sad it's over. Being the year that it was, was trickier, but it's given me a lot more confidence now in myself and knowing that I can do this. And I'm glad I did it. It was the best four years ever. I'm really proud I did this. Um, incredibly happy with all my all my work that I did for the course and I feel like um, I'm generally ready to get into the industry. With me just graduating this week um, it feels really it feels weird. Started four years ago and it kind of feels like it was yesterday so I'm excited and scared at the same time. I feel like my classmates and I have really matured over the past four years experiencing the college life through and through and learning many things along the way i got the opportunity to come here uh, and study music production and um, having irish uh, ancestry and being able to come over and live here especially after you know how my parents and everybody in my family talks about this place it's feels uh, pretty awesome to be able to graduate from, from LIT. I was always in interested in games. Um, I started playing video games at a very young age. I was probably about six or seven. I was just always interested in how people created the games and what it took to make one. So. When I was in secondary school, I went over to the opening day of LIT, Campus Clondell, and after viewing what the college has to offer and meeting all the lecturers, I decided that that was the college I wanted to attend. You get to experience all the work pipeline within, within the game industry, so that was the main deciding factor in picking game art and design. Someone from uh, the international uh, department at LIT, Breed uh, Ryan, showed up and she basically told me that because, or told our class that if we, because we'd finished the three years at our previous school and we were taking specific courses, we were able to go over to LIT to do a fourth year and get a, a Bachelor of Arts and Sciences. You know, I called my dad after, after, I, uh, after I got after that class and we both just kind of, you know, looked at each other and went, like, I have to do this. I have to take this opportunity. For me, there was no choice but to do music production at LIT. I've done a lot of different things in my life. I've done hairdressing, waitressing, different career paths, but I always wanted to work in film. And I just decided five years ago that if I'm going to do it, I have to do it now. So I just applied and I got it, thank God, and I came in, but I've always wanted to work. I didn't know exactly where I wanted to work, but I know it was the production side of filmmaking. I wanted to be kept busy and constantly going and creating things. LIT was right around the corner and offered everything that I wanted. All like the editing and the filmmaking and sound, it was a complete package for me. I love cartoons and I have always spent my time drawing any time in school that I had a break or during a class when I had nothing else to do, it was just draw, draw, draw. So the logical conclusion to that really was to try and learn how to do that towards something that I really love. And I went to the open day for LSAD and I saw the campus and I met some of the lecturers and I'd known a few people who had been there as well. 
and I couldn't really see myself in another place. It already felt like this this is ticking all the boxes for me. I'm I want to I want to do this and I want to do it here because I already kind of had become attached just being there. To think about when I first started up until now. I mean, it's a bit scary. Do you know, you move, you move county. Do you know, you walk into a class full of 30 odd and it's awkward. And I think the first thing that they made us do was scavenger hunt so that we could all kind of get the awkwardness out of the way quick and just, just bond, you had to. And to think back then how shy, well, and I would have been shy, to now, I think I've gotten a bit more confident. I mean, you come in and you know, you're know you learning the skills and I mean, now you know them. You don't think you do, but you do. Um, I don't know, it's just mad. It's really mad. When I started, um, I think many people would relate to that. I was feeling really lost, like meeting all the new people, new, new lecturers, like getting used to calling the lecturers by the first name and not um, Miss or Mr. Last Name. Um, that was a bit awkward for the first few months. And now they um, still lecturers being lecturers, they felt more more friendly than that. Um, and the fact that I also feel much stronger in my abilities and skills, um, that's also um, feels like an incredible journey for me. Look, looking at back at me f four years ago, I really wouldn't recognize that person because like back then I was really just so kind of in, uh, in myself and very shy and anxious and I guess as the years have come along a more kind of talkative and outward going type of person has come out of me and well that's really just because of working on stuff with people. I've progressed immensely with that. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like I've gained a lot more confidence. I felt a bit shy coming in, you know, as um, a girl when there's so many guys in the room. And um, I felt like, oh no, are they gonna, you know, think that... It's like that imposter syndrome, you know? Um, yeah, it's, but I feel like now after all that, like it's, it's just... Um, I feel more confident now that, you know, I can talk about... Um, so many things, not just my interests in games, but also um, all these different, you know, design um, elements associated with the process of working on projects. If I would uh, give myself one piece of advice, it would be to relax and enjoy myself through the process, to trust in, in things and the way things go. After graduating, I'm hoping to apply for jobs in the came out in design criteria, particularly in the coding aspect as I really enjoyed doing it in the, uh, during the college. And um, I'm hoping to get into a bigger industry such as um, Riot Games or Ubisoft, uh, which would be a dream. I'm hoping to achieve it by creating more projects in the meantime and creating a, a worthy portfolio that I'd that I be able to showcase to the bigger companies. Once I achieve it, I'm hoping to work in the coding aspect uh, mainly player mechanics and um, combat systems. Um, I suppose my plan is to continue working on music on the side, trying to get to a point where I can produce an album. That's the ultimate goal, creatively speaking. Um, and then, yeah, my, I suppose my goal career-wise and while working on music on the side would be try and find some sort of job or career in music production or technology. Having the technology background and production background really uh, makes me want to push myself into finding some sort of position in the tech music technology field. Now that I've graduated, the sooner I get in to a theatre or a venue, the better. Um, I just, I just miss it. And it's not like I'm going to forget the skills. It's just you learn you learn stuff for four years. You're you're only dying to now use the skills. I don't know. I'm excited now. If anything, it makes you excited to go and do it yourself. I'm planning on becoming a director. That's what my goal is. I want to direct movies and TV shows, drama, especially. 
So I'm gonna start slowly working my way into the production side of things and learning the hands-on element of filmmaking and TV work. I wanna be behind the scenes before I step into that role. I want to learn as much as possible and just self-learning, creating films myself at home, keep writing my scripts and just bettering myself. Um, definitely, I want to get into uh, the games industry for sure. Um, I'm still not sure whether I want to go down the path of illustration, concept art, or UI, but I want to be working, focusing on my portfolio now, uh, gaining uh, my, or expanding my visual library and um, showing my skills through that. And then um, I'll just do what I just said to myself, the piece of advice, just relax, take me where the wind takes me, you know? The plan right now is just exist for a while, think about opportunities to get some nice post-production work done and get really good at editing and audio and really just have fun with it as well and just use everything I've learned to enjoy learning even more. What I'd hope to do in future really would be to get an on-set experience really. Um, get experience on smaller productions or even bigger productions to help my own productions in the future. Leaving LFAD now, going into the industry, um, my, my plans are not really specific yet. I want to focus on my portfolio and um, use all the skills that I learned to actually make um, everything that I've made so far much better than it is. And um, I was thinking about doing the um, uh, VFX master's course in um, here in Cornell as well. So the plans are not very very specific yet, but um, I I definitely want to focus on self improvement for now. Something for your mind, your body. So if I was to sum up my time here in one sentence, it would just be the best time of my life, no doubt. So the college experience was an emotional roller coaster, uh, both with good and bad, with a lot of challenges along the way, but everything is worth it at the end of the day. I would sum up my college experience as the most interesting, fun, wonderful thing I've probably done since I was born. I think if I had to sum up my college experience, it would be stepping out of my comfort zone. I would say that it helped me build up my confidence, gave me a little bit more encouragement in myself, my abilities. So now I know what it is I want to do with the rest of my life. The best time of my life. Um, I don't want to say that, you know, I'm not going to have good times after college, but it's definitely the basis for what I can only imagine be even better. Um, I'm so happy I did it. If I was to do it again, I wouldn't do anything different. Because I feel like, hey, I've grown as a person, I've changed as a person. That's only good. The sentence I would summarize my, my college experience would be, um, great people that make hard work seem less difficult and easier to overcome. Thank you.